Hey guys, Brad Gilmore here. Want to give a big shout out to our title sponsor, Walker Texas Lawyer. If you or a loved one have been injured in an accident, whether that be a car, truck, motorcycle accident, or some kind of other issue, hit up Walker Texas Lawyer at 713-552-1117 or walkertexaslawyer.com. Oh, Brad, what have you done now? Broadcasting live from Houston, Texas, and around the world. And around the world. TV host, best-selling author, and radio personality Brad Gilmore brings you a collection of conversations with stars from movies. Matthew McConaughey. Brad Gilmore. Mark Wahlberg. Hey, how are you? The legendary Mr. Christopher Lloyd. Christopher, how are we doing? Well, I'm doing good. Very <laughs> interesting. Jessica Alba and Lizzie Mathis. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Kevin Costner joins us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Television. Jimmy Fallon joins us this morning. Jimmy, how you doing, my friend? Good morning. Thank you so much, Brad, for having me. I appreciate this, bud. Kelly Ripper. Brad, thank you for having me. Comedy. Jay Leno joins us. Jay, how you doing? Hey, Brad, what's going on? Chris Tucker is in the building. Chris Tucker, good morning to you. Hey, Brad. Good morning to you. How are you? George Lopez joins us right now. George, how are you doing, sir? Good morning. Music. Lola Monroe. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The legendary frontman of ACDC, Brian Johnson, joins us right now. Brian, how you doing? Good morning, Brad. What's looking at you? Give me funny lad. Megan Trainer. Thank you so much, Brad. You're awesome. Chloe Bailey joins us. I appreciate the time. Appreciate you. And more. And more. This is The Collection. Now your host, The, the Boat. So excited to be talking to Scorpions right now as they celebrate their 60 years bringing rock around the world, and they're going to bring it to Las Vegas with a special residency. Klaus and Rudolph, thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks for having us. Thank you. This question is really for both of you all to start off. 60 years is such an incredible milestone, especially in the entertainment business and especially in the music business. Uh, people know how hard it is to kind of stay focused, stay on one track for that long, and being in a band myself, I know you can argue about anything from the name of a song to what you're going to open with that night to what y'all are going to wear on stage. What's been the secret, uh, in, in for both of you, what's been the secret to kind of stay together and stay rocking for all these decades? Have mm -hmm. always the right chemistry. The right chemistry is a very important point. And of course, to present also the right music. And we did by, not mistake, by feeling... We did, we picked the right music, rock music, and rock music never dies. Comes from the blues into rock, heavy metal, whatever it comes out of that. And we were a part of it. And that's, I think, it's the secret and chemistry and to, and play to, the be, right music. to be ready for a compromise. You know, when you talk about song titles, tour titles, this and that, you can argue about a lot of things. You know, but Scorpions is a very democratic kind of band, and we try to come to make a decision where everybody feels good about it, you know. And I mean, yeah, something like the set list is sometimes the hardest thing, you know, to find the right songs out of a huge catalog going back. And, you know, just knowing we play a show like for 90 minutes or, or more, you know, but you have to find the right song, especially when you're thinking about the 60th anniversary now. You want to present not only the big classics, but also songs maybe from the earlier days. When, when that's what I was going to ask you, um, you know, when you think about Las Vegas and this being this residency to celebrate the 60 years, why did you feel like Vegas was the appropriate venue? And this is again for both of you. And what can we expect as fans coming to the show? I mean, Vegas is just an option for us to start the year and we did it this year and we did it before and it's just uh, something feels so good to be invited back like when we played the last song earlier this year at the Buck Theatre in Planet Hollywood and the, the officials go Scorpions you can come back anytime to Vegas anytime you like you know it's, it's such a compliment I mean come on this is the entertainment center of the world you know, and to be invited back more than once, that really means a lot to us, you know, and we we come there and we deliver, hopefully, another great rock show. 
Now, um, the Scorpions have always had such a strong connection to their fan base. And I think what's been great about your music, and you pointed out being rock music, is so generational. And it's continued. you've continued to find new audiences year over year. Are you ever surprised at seeing some of the ages of, of some of the fans who come to see you or run up to see you being from anywhere from 12 to 20 to 80? I think that uh, um, uh, we have the new technology, internet, made it happen. We noticed immediately when we really uh, uh, were playing on which tour was it, where we note ah, farewell tour, right? We noticed at a farewell tour, we noticed what's happening in front of the stage. There are all young kids. Where are their old fans? The old fans were there also, but uh, in the back. Because they are noticed by YouTube. They found out, hey, oh, I haven't heard this band. I have to see them. They are here in town. I have to see them. And I think that's a very big help of uh, bringing the music to the next generation. Because we're playing now to three generations. And that's a fantastic thing. And uh, we enjoy very much. You know, sometimes, you know, at the end of the show, you have photographers taking pictures throughout the whole gig, you know. But sometimes in the very end, you know, the photographer is up on stage. We turn around, you know, and photographer takes a shot, you know, and you have the audience in the back. That's a good thing when you take a look at those pictures. You can see the crowd, like from the old to the young. We see them all, you know. It's it's wonderful. And it's such a privilege after all these years to play all these generations that our music means something not only for the fans who's been following us from the 80s, you know, but also young fans who just picked up on the band today, you know. And, and that's just great. And it makes a great mix of people. And it's a, it's a great audience. And we want to give them a, something special this time with a meet and greet and come up with something special that gives them more value for the money, you know, and so they have a good time and come a little closer also with, with the band. Well, congratulations to the two of you. Congratulations to Scorpion. 60 years, the Las Vegas residency. I'm going to take a trip to Vegas just so I can see it in person. I got to feel the energy that y'all bring to the, to the world. So thank you so much for taking the time. Thank, thank you, you so much. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Beat stars.